Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Good Irons Recap, sponsored by the attorneys of Keller and Holland and the Jason Coronios team of Country Financial out in Libertyville. I'm Dan Irons, out here at Garber Stadium, where the Palatine Pirates ruined Hoffman's homecoming, 49-34. Dominic Ball, huge first half with four rushing touchdowns, 178 yards rushing, got hurt early second half. This guy stepped in, Cole Fager, two rushing touchdowns to preserve the victory. Uh, Cole, just talk about this win tonight and also about the offensive line's performance. Uh, I'd say just a great team win. Um, Dom set us up in a perfect position. Uh, just the team, we we had our struggles, but we all got through them. And I give all my credit to the offensive line. Great blocking up front. I just had to do my own job. So thank you to my uh, offensive line. Awesome, congrats. Hey, there's fireworks behind us. There was a lot of fireworks in this game. Let's get to the highlights. Conference play underway Friday night at Garber Stadium as Hoffman Estates hosted Palatine on its homecoming weekend. Visitors get first crack at the end zone to open the contest and matriculate down the field with relative ease on an eight-play drive culminating in the dominant fall 17-yard TD jaunt, making it look so seamless, 7-0 Pirates at the 8.09 mark. The high-flying Hawks answer the bell on its opening drive as they march down the field and knock things up at 7 thanks to a Matt Lawson 11-yard TD run with 6.42 to go in the opening stanza. After a short ball TD run that put Palatine up 14-7, Ball gets his third score of the half with 44 ticks remaining in the first on a nifty 21-yard TD scamper, 21-7 Pirates at the end of one. A little over a minute into the second QT, Nate Cleveland connects with favorite target Stephon Sellers on an 8-yard TD strike, 21-14 Palatine at that point. Back come the Pirates. Palatine single caller Tommy Elter scrambles in from eight yards out, just crossing the goal line, and it's 28-14 with six and change left to intermission. Under three minutes to go now. Palatine with possession again, facing a fourth and one at its own 46. No problemo. Ball. How about I give you 54 yards right down the left sideline? His fourth TD of the half. Yes, the half. Just incredible. 35-14 Pirates at the 248 mark. Just 22 seconds later, Hoffman's Matt Lawson, the wheels on this kid, like a blur, blazes up the field for an 80-yard score to get within striking distance at 35-21 at the half. Hawks also received the second half kickoff. And in its first possession of the second half, they take less than two minutes to get within one score of tying it when Cleveland hits Sellers on a bomb. 58 yards, no one's going to catch him. 35-28 at the 10-03 mark. Ensuing drive for Palatine, and Ball exits the game with an apparent injury, but that train kept rolling along anyway. Pirates convert a couple fourth down conversions, and with the team needing to lean on someone, that somebody was Cole Fager. Takes over in the backfield, and the offense didn't skip a beat. 13-yard TD run for Fager makes it 42-28 with 4.33 to go in the third. Pirates then thwart a Hawks drive with this heads-up pick. That leads to the offense mounting yet another impressive drive, and Fager from a yard out, hats off to the entire offensive line, puts the Pirates up three scores at 49-28, with nine and change left in the fourth. No quick in those Hawks, though. They can score in bunches, and they do so. Cleveland for the trifecta to Sellers, 32-yard pitch and catch, PAT no good, 49-34 Pirates with 438 left in regulation. Hawks then forced a turnover to get the ball back on Palatine's next drive, but any hopes for a miracle comeback were dashed, when another pass was picked off, and Palatine is your winner, 49-34. Both teams are now 3-2. and two. Well, hey, that's it from Garber Stadium for Gridirons. I'm Dan Irons.